Despite extensive efforts to maintain operational security, the manta ray's existence was revealed through an unexpected source, civilian satellite imagery. Google Maps users exploring the coastline around Naval Base San Diego discovered satellite images showing the distinctive vehicle docked at Port Juanemi Naval Base in California. The images quickly went viral on social media before reportedly being removed and replaced with what users believed were digitally edited boats. However, the damage was already done and the public had gotten its first glimpse of this classified technology. This incident highlights the challenges of maintaining secrecy in an age of ubiquitous satellite coverage and social media connectivity. Even the most classified military projects can find themselves exposed through civilian observation and digital sharing platforms. The Manta Ray underwater drone represents far more than just another military technology. It's a glimpse into the future of autonomous warfare and ocean exploration. As we've seen today, this remarkable vehicle combines cutting edge engineering with millions of years of evolutionary design, creating a platform that could fundamentally change how we approach underwater operations. The implications extend far beyond military applications. This technology could revolutionize marine research, environmental monitoring, and deep sea exploration. Imagine autonomous vehicles mapping unexplored ocean trenches, monitoring climate change effects, or discovering new species in the deepest parts of our oceans. But this development also raises important questions about the future of warfare in international security. As more nations develop similar capabilities, how will this technology reshape naval strategies? Will we see underwater drone swarms patrolling contested waters? And what happens when artificial intelligence becomes sophisticated enough to make critical decisions without human oversight? What's your take on the Manta Ray project? Do you think autonomous underwater vehicles represent the future of naval operations? Or do they raise too many concerns about escalating military automation? Have you spotted any interesting military technology on satellite maps yourself? And with China already deploying their own versions, do you believe we're entering a new era of underwater competition between world powers?